Automation, storage, and most of all trains, that's what we're going to be doing today. Welcome to episode 2 of the Create World. Today we'll be working towards some train stuff, but before we do any of that, we need to get an upgrade for a mining setup. Let's prep the space where we can take care of that. I've been testing out some things in a creative create test world and I have a setup to automatically process our ores and store all the stone types and other blocks we can find while mining. The question is, am I going to build it? Heck no. There's a cool item in the create mod that allows me to make a schematic from the test world and load it in. But let's get that started and I'm going to run the drill for an hour or two because I'm getting low on iron and andesite. Okay, the cannon is done and what we can do right now is put the drill right here and it automatically starts unloading its inventory into the storage unit. On the inside we can see smeltable ores like iron, copper and gold just getting processed before it gets put into these compacting drawers. These give me the choice to extract nuggets, ingots or blocks of whatever is in there. The rest of the items and blocks get stored at the top. Also, I have had a bit of a stream where we collected up some stuff for some storage upgrades and some void upgrades. Now, to get an easier way into the mines, I'll replace our shabby little staircase with an elevator. I'll start using a drill to go all the way down to bedrock. And afterwards, I'll change out the rope pulley for an elevator one. For the cabin, we're using a lot of frame blocks just to create a shape and then We'll add some andesite alloy blocks and some chipped spruce wood to give it the look that we want. We're using these redstone thingy blocks to detect the floors 
And with some wireless redstone receivers, we can add a button to call the elevator to specific floors. After a little bit of decoration, the elevator is pretty much done and we can add floors or layers as we go. Now that we have a functioning ore processing facility, we can get a little train in place. I started figuring out how the track was gonna go and where I had to cut through some tunnels. I just wanted to circle around the little island that we have and just go into the tunnels and come out wherever I wanted to. I did find some caves though and since the rest of the island is getting more and more spawn proof while we are building on it, they were filled pretty well with some little critters. When the trek was done I decided that mining all the tunnels by hand would be pretty annoying and since we have create we can just make a simple train, add some drills to the front of it and a chest or two and ride it around the track to get rid of everything in our way. Some of the cleanup needs to be done by hand though, so I'll grab some stone and replace some of the dirt patches by hand. And this is what I ended up with. Now we can just build a little train to go around the track. Instead of building a big locomotive, I wanted to try something smaller. I found these old pictures online of some steam powered tractors and I kind of like the vibe of those. So I'm making this small simple unit. Somewhere nearby I found a sheep, so I put it in its little chair, I gave it a schedule and I sent it on its way. That way the tractor will go round and round in intervals. I think all of the functionality is in this place. We're pretty much done. Now just give me about an hour or so to decorate the area a bit more and I'll be right back with all of you. Alright, I built up the little station a bit more. We have a little sign that says how long it'll take for the train to get here. Plus, I added in this little ground texture, I added in the staircase all the way up to the starter house. And in general, it's just a lot more lively with the chimneys, with the moving parts and, and bits and stuff. But yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Today's been a lot of progress. I expanded the drill a bit more off camera. We built up an entire ore processing unit. We have a little train going around. A lot of stuff has happened and I think that will be enough for today's video. I will be running the drill in between videos for a bit because the iron problem is a pretty reoccurring event and we'll have to take care of that in the future. But for now, this will be the end of the video. I hope you liked it as much as I did. If so, hit that like button, subscribe. It's free, it helps out a lot, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!